Well, the first key takeaway is self-care is not the cure for burnout alone. However, leaders do need to model the behavior so that it can be an environment where employees feel like that they can take care of themselves. Also that um, when you are in an environment that is chronically stressed, where you're dealing with burnout and you don't feel like you have an opportunity to say anything or speak out or talk about mental health at work, it can lead to what we're seeing right now is a great resignation. So we need to be more open and transparent about conversations around mental health. And then I think the most important would be leading with empathy and that we need to be thinking about how to actively listen to the people in our side of our organization so that we can prevent chronic stress from happening way before it's too late. Right now we are seeing loneliness and isolation on the rise. I've been doing a talk, exhausted leaders leading exhausted teams. There's a real isolation in that group. And sometimes the only way that there can be an opportunity to connect with each other is in environments like the PEO leadership group. And that is probably the most important thing that we can have right now, our social circles and places to just bounce ideas off of inside of workplaces where leaders are feeling very isolated and alone. We need to still be motivating our employees. Right now they're feeling a little disengaged. But we also need to be dealing with the root causes that are making them stressed. And without the hygiene, focusing on the table stakes stuff, as well as the motivation piece, then we're never going to have the most productive competitive organizations.